I'm Georgina Goodwin. I'm a photojournalist living and working in Kenya. I was born here and I work with many different NGOs, news agencies and companies uh, to tell the stories, um, especially unreported stories in Africa, focusing on social issues, uh, the environment and lots to do with women. I work very closely with the United Nations Refugee Agency and I have visited about 12 different refugee camps. Uh, this particular story, Tanzania's refugee children, really struck out for me because this was the first refugee camp that I had gone to. It's called Nyaragusu and it's one of the largest refugee camps in the world. From the Congo, many, many refugees have come across and since 2015, a lot of the people from Burundi arrived in Nyaragusu as a place of haven. And what I found when I went there, I was there for a whole week, that the strength and resilience of these children, despite everything going on around them, is just heartwarming and heartbreaking. When you meet Samburu women, it's not very difficult <laughs> to tell their story visually. They are extraordinarily beautiful. At the time when I went to the Omoja Women's Village, there was around 40 women there. Some of them had heard about this village that was started by a woman called Rebecca Lolasoli in 1991. And she's a Samburu woman who had decided to run away from forced marriage. And she began this village. It's called the village where no men are allowed. And many women heard about this and they decided to move away from the traditions of female genital mutilation that's part of Samburu culture. Some had been raped and some about to move into forced marriage and wanted to run away from their husbands and early marriage as well, underage marriage. And together they look after each other. I think it's very important to make sure that we continue to make this place relevant and to have a depth that's available for people outside of this continent to access. And as a photojournalist being here, it's, I take it very seriously and as part of my duty to tell these stories with as much depth and intimacy um, but also with respect to the people and the places that I document and I want to say thank you to people who take the time to listen and look to the look at these stories because because of that support these stories get a voice let's continue on to give this wonderful content of ours a space in the world <laughs>